Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Alvin, the chipmunks, and Kitty, of course, are going to help me open a very rare and special toy. It's called the Play-Doh Happy Meal Play Shop. You can make french fries, hamburgers, and even yummy milkshakes with Play-Doh. The box comes with all of these parts, and like I said, it's rare. It's very old. Can you see the date on the box? It's from 1998. Let's get all the pieces out. Here is the McDonald's mold press. This is where we're going to make our buns, french fries, and milkshakes. The set even comes with realistic looking hamburger wrappers. They're even made of paper. And two cups for the milkshakes and red french fry boxes. And then when we're done, a Happy Meal box for all of our food. Twin McNugget Buddies. Can you find the two identical McNugget Buddy twins? I think this one and this one. First, we're gonna make our french fries. We need to put these four squares in front of the hole of the press. And then we need some yellow Play-Doh. We put the yellow Play-Doh into the red hole. And then we push. And you'll soon see some square french fries popping out. Kitty must think they look like worms. I think that's enough french fries. Let's use our little cutter. And these are too long for our little box, so we'll have to cut these french fries in half. And one by one, place them into our red box. They kind of look like real french fries, but it's Play-Doh, so we can't eat it. Let's just pretend. I think we're going to need to make a few more french fries to fill up the box. Now we're ready to make our hamburger, and since I didn't have any brown Play-Doh, I mixed purple and orange together. We've got to mix and smush until it's completely mixed together, and then it'll turn to brown. Here is our hamburger bun mold. We attach it to the press and put our brown Play-Doh below it. And we're ready to squeeze. And now we have our first hamburger bun. We'll need to remove the sides so it's a perfect circle. Now we need another hamburger bun. Now to make the hamburger patty, I want it to be a different brown than the buns. So I'm going to try to mix some blue and green. Hmm. Turned a little bit gray. That's okay. We're not actually going to eat this. So we'll use this for our patty mold. Perfect. Now we just need to add some toppings. We've made lettuce, tomatoes, and onions keep those colds and flu away. It's a pretty tall hamburger. Maybe we will hmm, have to take some of the toppings out in order to wrap our hamburger. Well, we wrapped it, but we needed to take all of our toppings out. That's okay. Alvin and the chipmunks can eat the veggies separately. It's time to make our milkshake. We're going to make a fresh strawberry milkshake. We also need to make a toy for our Happy Meal. We have a star, a shell, or a dolphin. I love dolphins. If you want to know how to help dolphins, ask a parent to research 
on how you can do your part to keep dolphins safe. We're going to make our dolphin blue with our press. And now we're ready to build our Happy Meal. We'll put our box together. Let's put in the french fries and the hamburger. And we can't forget our dolphin toy. And remember, McDonald's or fast food is only a treat once in a while. It's important to eat healthy food at home. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're here with Rapunzel, Belle, and Ariel. They're outside in the picnic table and they're going to create with Play-Doh. Our kids love Play-Doh. You can create anything you want. I think I'm going to make a caterpillar, says Rapunzel. Belle, do you mind if I borrow some of your orange Play-Doh? Please? Why, of course, Rapunzel. I have plenty to share. Rapunzel rolls blue balls and orange balls to make her caterpillar. I'm all finished. Wow, that looks so good, Rapunzel. What are you going to make, Belle? Hmm. I think I'll make a candy cane. That should be fairly easy. I'll roll some orange and blue into a snake and then twist them together. And that looks like a candy cane. What are you going to make out of Play-Doh, Ariel? Hmm. I think I would like to make a snail. I'll make the shell out of blue and the head out of orange. What do you like to create with Play-Doh Tiny fans? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, when you're done with your Play-Doh, you need to separate it and you need to put it back in the container and put the lid on tight so it doesn't dry out. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We're excited to open this PJ Masks 3-in-1 Ultimate Dough Activities where you can make ice cream, 3D characters from PJ Masks, and all sorts of shapes. Everything is neatly organized in this white tray. Spoons, rollers, cutters, and lots of softy dough. Let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different colors. Can you name the different colors with me, tiny fans? Red, yellow, blue, green, purple, orange, turquoise, brown, black, and white. We have gecko, cat boy, owlet, and Romeo 3D molds. Let's make gecko first. We'll use the color green. Ooh, ooh, this lid was very difficult to open and I broke my nail. I'll be right back. I need to snip it off before it gets caught on something. Ah, there, much better. But unfortunately, I put the lid back on so that the dough wouldn't dry out. Oh, oh. I don't know, tiny fans. These are very, very hard to open. I even broke the lid this time trying to open it up. 
at least the dough is nice and moist. I've taken all of the dough out of the container and now I push my mold together and squeeze the excess dough out. And uh oh, Gecko has some cracks in his face. Just smooth that out. And you can just add a little more dough if this happens. Smooth it out again and give it another squeeze using all my strength. Much better. And now we just gently need to pull the dough out of the mold and remove the excess without squeezing gecko. And now we need to put all of our green dough that's left over back in the container and do a little cleanup. Add a little bit of water just to keep it moist for next time. Perfect. And I'll leave the lid on loosely until we put gecko back in there. Now it's cat boy's turn. We need the dark blue softy dough. Oh, oh, this one's hard to take off too. Okay, got it. Ooh, this one's nice and soft. It all came out at once. Open the mold up. Place all of the dough on and squeeze hard. Oh, perfect. And now it's time to do red dough for Owlette. Ooh, look at the back of her wings. So pretty. Oh, this is my favorite so far. One little crack, but pretty good. And finally, it's time to do Romeo with purple softy dough. And let's see how Romeo turned out. Pretty good. Just remove the excess. This set also comes with a little green ice cream dish. It looks like glass. And we'll create some ice cream using this red PJ Masks syringe. And we're going to use chocolate ice cream, brown Play-Doh. And we just need to stuff it into the red part like this. And then you put the blue portion inside to squeeze it through the tip. I gotta use all of my finger strength. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, ooh, look at it. Okay, so now I'm going to start to go in a circular motion so that it actually looks like a bowl of chocolate ice cream. Okay, and now I need to pinch. And we've just created a bowl of chocolate ice cream. And this tool is easy clean up because the yellow tip comes off so you can get all of the softy dough out. Now this set also comes with all of these shapes. Butterfly, diamond, yellow heart, a triangle, a flower shape, green star, a 
blue circle and a red square. Now, if you know me, tiny fans, I'm going to do the butterfly shape today because I love butterflies. And we'll use the remaining purple softy dough. I'm going to roll it in a ball and then use the PJ Masks yellow roller to flatten it out like a pancake. It's like making cookies. And I think that's big enough for the butterfly shape. Push down lightly. Remove the excess around. And gently push the butterfly out. Oops, and there's a little purple butterfly cookie. Now I also want to show you this tool. It's a press and it has a star shape, a heart, and a flower on top. Or you can put the Play-Doh inside this compartment and squeeze it through this hole. There's all different shapes you can put in front of the hole. It's almost like a blue ruler. Each one comes with five different shapes. I think we will try the one with the star. And it just slides through the slot like this. And you gotta make sure it's centered. We'll use some blue softy dough. And watch what happens, tiny fans, when we squeeze and push it through. This could also be used for the ice cream. And that's about as far as it'll go. I'll pinch it off. And actually, let's make a cupcake with this. Perfect. A cupcake with blue icing. And of course, after play, we must always clean up our mess and put everything back where it belongs. And we can't put it in the box yet because Kitty's lying in it. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies and I are going to play with aromatherapy Play-Doh. This Play-Doh is energizing. It smells like peppermint and it has sparkles inside. Can you see what color it is through the clear container? It's a bright blue color. And if you look very carefully, you can see silver and blue sparkles. Let's give it a smell. Mmm, yummy peppermint. This Play-Doh smells like lavender. Lavender is very relaxing. Sometimes I put lavender oil on my wrists at night to relax me. It has gold, glittery sparkles and stars. Did you notice there was something else inside the container? Let's have a look and see what it is. It's a silver chain necklace, and attached to it is some purple fairy dust. Tinky Winky is purple, just like the lavender Play-Doh. Do you know what letter the name Tinky Winky starts with? T -t -t. It starts with the letter T. And look who's come to visit. It's Kitty. Smell the lavender, Kitty. Do you know what the letter T looks like? We're going to make the letter T with our purple Play-Doh. T for Tinky Winky. Do you know what the name Kitty starts with? K -k -k. It starts with the letter K and we're going to make a K with our blue Play-Doh. K is for kitty. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. 
please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today I've made some yummy Play-Doh candy surprise lollipops. Now these aren't lollipops to eat. There's just little candies on the tops, nerd candies. And then the rest is Play-Doh so that I could hide a surprise and open it up for you guys. Are you ready to open it up? Okay, so this is our red lollipop and inside we're gonna open it up and I can already see something hidden inside what could it be I've hidden a marble inside and this marble is green and white swirls and I love glass marbles now we're gonna open up our blue lollipop and there's little nerd candies there's pink green purple and yellow and orange so let's open up our next play-doh lollipop and inside is a shimmering blue marble see how blue that is I put the blue marble in the blue lollipop Let's open up our yellow lollipop and inside the yellow lollipop is a swirly yellow and green marble see there's different colors inside the actual marble and our last surprise lollipop squish it open and inside is a polka dot marble. It's got little blue and white polka dots on it. And that's the end of our lollipop surprise. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we have an exciting new toy called Teletubbies Match and Stamp a Fun Game. And it's a Play-Doh game. It's a very old game from 1998. Inside the square tin is a bag of yellow stamps. There's also different colors of Play-Doh. Sounds pretty dried out. Oh dear, we won't be able to use this Play-Doh. It's rock hard. That's okay. We have our own Play-Doh we can use and it's nice and soft and moist. Here's our purple mold to create four squares for our stamping and a roller to make it flat. Here are the pop-out cards. Let's use this one today. We need to match the pictures to the stamps. We're all set up and ready to start. The first stamp we need to look for is the red handbag. There it is. The next matching stamp we need to find is a picture of Tinky Winky. He has a triangle on his head. Can you see him? He's right in the corner.
it's time to look for a beautiful butterfly. I love butterflies. And finally, our last stamp will be Poe. And Poe's found her stamp. Yep, yeah, it looks like you, Poe. Well, our match and stamp worked. We are matching. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We just made a colorful Teletubby snow cake. As you can see, it looks like confetti cake. If you wanna see how we made it, check out our other video. Today, the Teletubbies are going to open surprise eggs. They are cold outside and they're hoping there's something in the egg to warm them up. So for Dipsy, we're gonna open a green egg since Dipsy's green. It's a ball of Play-Doh. I think we can get creative with this, Dipsy. Let's try and make you a little coat. We've rolled you up like a little sausage. This should keep you warm. Now, Poe, which egg would you like? Poe is red, so she wants the pink egg, since that's the closest to the color red. And look, there's even some red Play-Doh inside. What would you like, Poe? Should we make you a jacket as well? Let's try and give you a jacket with a hood. That way you can keep your head warm too. It's a perfect fit. We'll just fold this piece behind and we'll put you in your egg. Lala is next. She is yellow, so she would like the yellow egg, of course. And there's the yellow Play-Doh. Let's wrap Lala up like a little burrito. We flatten the Play-Doh out and then we'll roll her around inside of it. Tinky Winky, you've been waiting so patiently. Which egg would you like to open? Hmm, I think I know. The purple one, just like you. And there's some purple Play-Doh. Tinky Winky would like a nice warm hat. Since most of the heat from our bodies comes out of our heads, he would like to cover his head. And that way he can keep the heat in. Remember to always stay warm outside. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to do some Play-Doh stamping with our In the Night Garden stamps. Here's Upsy Daisy and Macca Packa. Here comes Kitty. Everyone say, hi, Kitty. 
Are you going to do some stamping with us today, Kitty? She's getting comfortable. First, we're going to use the green Play-Doh. How does it smell, Kitty? Not very good. Let's grab enough and we will stamp Macapaca on the green Play-Doh. Macapaca's face turned out beautifully. We'll just place that over here and now we'll do Iggle Piggle with the blue Play-Doh. Oh, but this Play-Doh got mixed with yellow, so blue and yellow make green. And we have an old little Iggle Piggle that we did with our In the Night Garden Play-Doh set. Let's see how it turned out. There's Iggle Piggle's face. We're going to use purple Play-Doh for Upsy Daisy. She loves pink, but the closest we have today is purple. And there's an Upsy Daisy we did with the other in the Night Garden Play-Doh set. There's her face. It's a little squished. Let's see her face. Oh dear, she has one eye that's sort of squished and stretched, but that's okay. The last stamp we're going to do is the Tombly Boos. And since they're all different colors, we're going to use colorful, sprinkle-looking Play-Doh. It has bits of blue, pink, green, yellow. The top of the stamp has three tombly boos but it only stamps one Tombly Boo face. Well, thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.